Hello Geeks, I'm Glory Hound, and this is going to be a how to play for Munchkin Treasure Hunt. The first thing you're going to want to do is put out your game board. You're going to shuffle your treasure cards and your monster cards, and they both have corresponding spots on the board to place them. And after that, you're going to want each player to select a standee and put those on the board. Then each player gets dealt three treasure cards. Now these treasure cards, although there's a whole lot in this deck, really only have a few different uses. You have permanent treasure cards, which you don't have a whole bunch of, okay? You can only have two permanents out in front of you, and they give you a bonus for as long as they're there. If you want to put out a different one, at that point you have to discard one of these in order to put another permanent card out, okay? But these don't go away. The cards that you have the most of are the one-time use cards, and you use these in combat. You can throw them down, but once you throw them down to use them, they do go in the discards afterwards. And these stay in your hand. So other than that, you don't really have a whole lot of other types of cards in the deck. You have these cards that affect your dice rolls, so re-roll, loaded dice, and extra dice. And there's a fair amount of these in there. And you also have sticky fingers, and there's not too many of these in there. And basically you play this along with a treasure card, and then this gets discarded, but your one-time use card comes back to you at the end of your turn, which is really nice. It's very helpful when you have that one you don't want to get rid of. So, now that you're all set up, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to run a roll to see who goes first. Once the player is picked, you roll for your movement along the board. And you can travel in any direction you would like to go. I move two, so I'd go one, two, and then my turn would be over. If I landed at this spot here, I would roll the dice again. And then I would move my six spots. Well, I'm going one, two, three, four, five. Once I get to an area, a cave, whether it's the entrance or one of these monster caverns, I can't continue any further. I have to defeat this monster, okay? If I were to land on any of the treasures, I would just automatically draw one of the treasures and put that into my hand. If I landed on any one of the little monster faces, I get automatically teleported to that monster's area. So in the beginning, you definitely don't want to hit up the dragon. He has a lot of treasure, but he's pretty powerful. So. For example, I landed in the Witch's Cavern. We're going to go straight into combat, okay? In order to determine how big the Witch is or what power level she is, you're going to add the power of 5 plus whatever I draw from this monster deck. So this Witch is going to become very grouchy. So this grouchy Witch now has a power level of 5, 6, 7. And that's what I need to beat. In order for me to beat it, I have two for my fuzzy slippers and my blank look. And then I roll a dice, and that would give me three. So I'm definitely not defeating that witch. Then I can look at the cards that I have in my hand for one-time use cards. And I have some bad language and a shaking finger. So that would give me six, seven, eight. And I can use all my cards there to defeat the Grouchy Witch. If I had tied her level at a 7, I would still get the win on that. At this point, this would be discarded. My one-time use cards would be discarded. And then the Witch will give me two treasures. So I get two brand new treasures to put in my hand. And then it would be the next player's turn. If you ever go into the entrance area and you're trying to pass through here, you do automatically stop as well. And you take one treasure card, put that in your hand, and then you roll the dice. And then you get to move to the room matching that number. So I have three here, and that is the troll's room. Where's our troll? He's right here. And so I'd automatically be teleported to his room. As for the monsters, all of the monsters are pretty much the same, where you're going to have a power level and then flip over a monster card, except for the troll. So the troll has a power level of 10. You're going to flip over a card 
for him, so he's going to be a snotty troll. And then you're also going to roll a dice for him, so that can get out of control really fast. And if you're in a situation where you can't defeat the monster, there's a few things that you can do at this point. If there's a player within six spaces of you in any direction, so if he was anywhere along here, anywhere along here, they'd be able to help you in combat. And so they can join, they get to use all their permanents, any of the one-time use cards, and they get to roll a dice as well. And then you add both of your levels together to try to defeat this single monster. If you guys win, then you can go ahead and grab up your treasures. So he would have five of the treasures and you would give one treasure to your helper. If you guys lost, well, then you guys end up running away. And you roll the dice to run away. You go in any direction away from the monster. You do not get to do what is on these tiles, so I would not get to take a treasure. And at that point, I would have to discard a permanent. And if I didn't have any permanents, I would have to discard one card from my hand. Now, this being a munchkin game, the whole point of this game is to get as much treasure as you possibly can. So as I'm going through the game, you're going to fill up on treasure, and then this treasure deck is going to slowly go down. Whenever all of the treasures have been either discarded or in the hands of a player, the game has ended. And what you do is you look at your treasure cards, and they have little gold numbers here on the bottom, and you add all of those up. And the player with the most gold at the end of the game is the winner. Now, this is a really awesome game for children who are learning how to count. I mean, adding and subtracting is greatly utilized in this game. And if you have any questions about the game or the video, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Send me some likes and some loves by subscribing to my channel. And thank you so much for watching, and have a great time gaming.